So I know I know I needed to make a trip story. Uh, or I wanted to, and I was going to, but I had no idea what I was going to do it about until like literally right now. Obviously, you know, it's it's getting harder and harder for me to come up with ideas for trip stories because I feel like I'm almost running out of them and I'm not going to be like other uh, people online who you could obviously tell they just make shit up. Um, I'm not going to do that. So I'm going to talk about something that I know I haven't talked about at least in a trip story for sure, uh, which is going to be uh, prescription drugs um, as far as, you know, Norco's, Selma's, any sort of muscle relaxers, Xanax, um, but things like that. At one point I had a, a pretty frequent prescription for uh, Xanax. I feel like I lost a lot of memory back when I was doing that. There was a certain point where I, I just kind of, kind of was, it felt like it was coming to me all the time. I always got them by some shady ass means, but I ended up, you know, at one point I remember I took I think it was like five Vicodins at once, like pr pretty strong Vicodins too. And and that was so fucking intense. Like that was to a point where literally if I was not laying down, um, I was gonna like, I don't know, like throw up and fall on the ground. Like I couldn't do it. If I was laying down, then all of a sudden I would start to become calm and like and not like about to die. <laughs> uh, but any moment I stood up, I couldn't, I just couldn't stand. I was literally forced to lay down for hours and it fucking sucked and it was like it was like I was like shit face drunk but just right at the edge of it though like right at the edge of throwing up and not there Xanax has actually been like kind of one of the things that I've seen a lot of as far as like people I know doing it and like it's rare that you see other prescription pills but um Xanax, I've seen quite a few people actually like do it for fun. And in my opinion, that's one of the more dangerous ones to fuck with because your memory is completely shot. Like, there's so many different nights that I can tell you that I completely just blacked out just because I took one or two while I was drinking. And then, you know, from there on, I have no memory. And for a while there, I was also getting uh, promethazine coating cough syrup, like the legit one. Um, I forget who was sick in my house, but we had a few bottles, like, pretty frequently. And I think it was kind of before it really took off, and, like, now it's all, you know, very hard to get prescribed. But, um, yeah, it was there a lot. And I remember, like, consistently, uh, like, taking, like, shot glass full of, uh, fucking, uh, lean and fucking getting the blunt and, and completely soaking it in lean and then smoking that shit and it's that shit is not something to fuck with either um at all there's this one uh time where we were all chilling at my house i think it was the, the, the last time that i was actually living at that house and we were kind of having like a goat going away kind of party thing and we had a bunch of fucking lean uh i remember i was i took the ecstasy pill i was pretty drunk um what else did I do? Uh, I do. I took a big ass shot of that lean, and then we smoked a bunch of lean blunts, and that was like the most intense, like body feeling I've ever felt. Uh, it was like literally I was getting massaged on every inch of my entire body, like at once, and it was intense. And I remember them fucking fucking around with the lights. And it was one of the most intense light shows of my life. And that was a crazy fucking night. That crazy feeling. I'll never forget that shit. Any of you guys ever fuck with Freon? I was a dumbass kid for a long time. And I did some dumbass shit. And, um, and fucking regretted. Regret, regret, regrettably to say, I guess. Uh, I did Freon before. And that shit was fucking no joke. That shit... It literally, like, when you inhale it, it's like your your brain goes, whoop, 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 and you just kind of zone out and go into, like, this weird, like, like, nowhere. Like, you almost die. Like, that's how it feels. Like, you just go to nowhere. Like, it doesn't make sense. And then you just slowly kind of wake up, and it's the like most intense, weird shit. I don't know why I used to do it. I did maybe, like, a few, like, two to four times, maybe, the most. Um, I don't know why I started talking about Freon, but... That's some dumbass shit. That's one of the dumbest fucking things I've ever fucking done. And 
I'm glad that I was able to do it and tell you guys that that shit is fucking stupid and you should never do that shit. <laughs> I don't know why it comes to mind, but Nas, too. Did you guys ever do Nas? There's one, at one point I was part of the group Sick With It Kings, the little clique Sick With It Kings, and uh, we were making some pretty cool music at the time, actually. Um, but in one of the songs for the cover, I have a fucking Nas balloon in my mouth. And you could tell it's at a bit, very bad time of my life because I look probably the fattest I've ever looked at a picture ever uh, with the big ass Nas balloon in my mouth. But there was a few moments there where I was doing a bunch of Nas too, like when it was around. And that shit's no fucking joke either. At one point, we had this big ass Nas sick with a Kings party uh, in a little apartment. <laughs> and I ended up in the closet, which is also the studio. I think what happened is I was recording something with the Nas. And I just kind of stood in the studio and didn't, didn't leave. And then passed and just kept hitting the balloon in the studio, like, by the mic. <laughs> Alright, so, I think that we can call it a night. Uh, thank you guys very much for tuning in. I will see you on the next trip story. I'll see you on the next fucking everything on this channel, because it's my YouTube channel. So that's, <laughs> that's really it. Peace out. Oh, also, I just released a new song called uh, Riding Round. I just literally released it right now. I'm pretty sure I'm going to upload this the same night that I released it. So if you'd like to check that out, you can go to soundcloud.com slash audible44. There'll be a link in the description. Quick little minute and a half song, just a little something for 2016. Uh, I'll see you guys very, very soon. Peace out. What the fuck? What the fuck? Thank you.